Hello and welcome to this Blender topic on animating mesh objects using an armature. We're in Blender and we have the default cube. I'll press 5 and 1 to look at this from the front and tab to go into edit mode. I'll shift tab and select face and select that one. Press 1 to look at this from the front again and press E to extrude this up a little bit and then press shift tab and choose a edge. Alt and right mouse click to choose that one to look at it from the front. Scale and I'll scale it out. And shift tab to sh select face mode. And I'll select these two, look at it from the front, and then I'll scale shift Z. So I'll just um, change them in the XY plane there. So now we have this this object. And I'll press tab to go into object mode, and I would like to add a copy of this. So I do shift D and I push that up. So now we have two mesh objects that are somewhat reminiscent of limbs, but they're not connected with mesh. They're just an open empty there. There's just an empty space. And that is uh, on purpose because I would like to articulate these these two different objects because you can actually articulate or manipulate objects to a different object, or several different objects through the same armature. So that's a feature that is possible. It doesn't have to be the same arm, uh, the same mesh. It could actually be several mesh objects. This also makes it a little bit easier to see what happens. Uh, we have the cursor here, so I press Shift A and uh, open up an armature and you get that tab, and I want to turn on X-ray and name so I can see what I'm dealing with here. Uh, and I'll press tab to go into edit mode. So now we're in ed edit mode for the bone. And the tip, I call this the root, and that's the, and I call that the tip. Some people call this the head and the tail, and there's probably other ways to call it. I'll just call this the root and the tip. And this here in between is the body. So we'll select the tip and pull that up, so you can see what I want, would like to have happen here. I would really like to have this bone control this mesh here and uh, press 1 to look at it from the front and then the next bone and the way to get another bone is to press E for extrude and then you push that up like that. And you can see that these bones are automatically named and if I choose that bone and go to its bone tab I can actually change it. I'm going to call it first first like that and then we'll go over to this bone here and call it second. And of course in, in an actual you know project where you're doing something uh, more substantial than this you have more you know mnemonic names. Uh, so here we have first and second bone and we have um, I'll shift the object, okay, we well, don't want to be in a post mode right now, but in object mode. So we have an, we have objects or mesh, we have mesh and we have an armature and I would like now to skin the mesh to the armature. So to do that, and this is um, the way it's done, you select the object or the mesh and then you shift select the armature and then you press control P. And then you have a set of choices, I would like to use the automatic weights. That makes it pretty easy to do this. And what happens then is that the, this mesh here is skinned to that. I will also have to skin this mesh because that's a separate object as you remember. So I'll select it and shift A, well shift right mouse I mean, and then Control P and automatic weights. So we're not going to talk about what's happening by this behind the scenes. We're just going to look at what we can do now, and that is we can go to pose mode and we can pose these bones in pose mode. We'll start with the second bone here and press on the rotate selector here or rotate manipulator, and you can rotate that like this. And this is the child, second is the child of first. So let's look at the bone here and you can see that the parent here is first. If I click this one here, it has no parent. 
and this bone here is parented to this mesh, so it controls this mesh. But also, it controls the movements of this second bone. So if I do this, now that one follows. So this is what, if you've done this correctly, this is what should happen. This mesh here now follows that bone, which follows this bone. So now if I want to rotate only this bone, I can do that independently of this one here. Then I can select that and I can rotate them together like this. But there are other possibilities. I can select that second bone and turn off inherit rotation. Then it will stay rotated the way it is rotated, like this. So I can independently rotate them. It still follows the root of this bone still follows the tip of that, but it doesn't inherit the rotation. But I'll turn it back on. So there are some tweaks you can make with armatures or between the bones of armatures. So if we choose armature and turn it to rest position, then it will just stri straighten out the way it is and turn it to post post position, then it just will turn back to what it was post like. And I just turn it up like this. And then we can move it like this and try to rest position and see, yeah, it turns back. So this is the very first step and we create the mesh. In this case, we use two different meshes to skin to the same armature. And by doing that, we avoided the problem of um, um, turn on post position. You can't manipulate it in rest position. You have to have it in post position. What we avoided was the deformation of the meshes. So if we look at this through the camera, okay, we'll have to pull the camera out, grab ZZ so I can pull it out and uh, grab it and pull it up a little bit and we can press F12 to render that. Then you can see these two are now, they're not affecting each other at all. They're just uh, moving uh, with a certain dependency to each other, but they're not, there's no mesh deformation taking place whatsoever. So that's, uh, that's something that you can use in certain instances. In the next step of this, I'll stop this tutorial now, I'll talk more about what happens behind the scenes when we do the parenting. So this is our very first step here, very simple, basic, uh, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.